Donuts Rock from Flip the Thrift, and we are back in the dungeon um, for another Gan. So, I got everything downstairs. Today is a lazy day. I really don't feel like standing and dealing with all that. I've been up all day standing, so I figure that I'll do some more sit down, and I'll just kind of show you guys what I what I got. Um, I don't really have anything lined up. I'm just going to kind of just take it out of the bag. Take it out of the bag. So, let's take a little sip. wet the whistle all right so not really too sure here's the two bags of watches so this is a general idea of how they do it in the community aid they just kind of boom they just put 25 bucks now when i looked in this one immediately i seen that lcd or whatever that is that light up they light up red um but then there's a little timex there's a timex watch right there so that's an oldie but a goodie right there, too. That's got to be at least 25 That should pay for the whole bag. Um, and I'm sure there's a couple more goodies in here. A lot of times I find, like, fake Rolexes and, you know. But that, every now and then there's a really good watch. Um, so hopefully, hopefully we find something really good. I think this is an Iron Man. Is that an Iron Man? have one kind of just like that upstairs. That's a chronograph. So, well, let's just open them. Let's just start off with the watches. I'll try to be as fast as possible, um, as quick as I can. I'm just going to rip them open. Otherwise, we're, we're going to be here all day. So, let's just, let me move my scale. Oh, man. I'm glad that thing's made really well. Eh. I hope, anyway. Well, let's test it out. Yeah, the top comes off. The top came right off, but the top is supposed to come off. It looks like it's supposed to be screwed on, like, I don't know, whatever. But, let's see. Alright, let's make sure that I didn't break it. Alright, so, this is probably a couple pounds. Yeah, we're good. It's pretty good scale. 86 pound scale, um, up to 86 pounds. I kind of, I did kind of break it. It did fall pretty hard, but it's still working. I'll ride it till the wheels fall off. I have another one. Actually, I have this one right here. I have a digital. It's a pretty cool glass scale. A scale's a scale. I mean, I don't know what the max... I don't know what the max weight on this is. I really never really weigh anything more than 10 pounds. So, sometimes I do. So, I'm not sure. What is the weight on this thing? Man, I don't know. I don't see it. Probably doesn't go up too high, but... Alright, so here we are. We're going to kind of just dump them out and just kind of go from here. Alright, so... we got to separate them anyway. I'm going to get a... Alright, so this is a Geneva, but this is a really nice rose gold Geneva. I always find Genevas. They're always in with the watches. So, But this one is actually in really good shape. This one's probably worth putting a battery in. I may get about 15 bucks for that. I order my batteries in bulk, so I have so many batteries. Um, this is Gossip. This is just a junk watch. Um, I mean, they're all really worth putting batteries in. This is, um, this is a brand new watch. I'm going to look them up and see what they sell for new. Actually, let me look them up now because I think there's a couple in there. Here's another one. There's another one. Usually they have the plastic piece right there because they're not even, they haven't even been used. But I'm going to push them in and see if they tick. So, no, they need batteries. But this one's got a little bit of a bend to it. But these are like brand new. And that's really nice, actually. It has a nice mother of pearl. Whenever you see that little swirl white, that's mother of pearl. Um, I know they're not really worth much. I hate to just keep. Throwing good watches all in the junk pile. G-O-S-S-I. Gossip watch. I mean, it, it shows right up. Alright, so we're looking at... Let's do... Let's do sold. We're going to do sold. Well, yeah, they're in different ones too. Sold, sold, sold. We're going to do... Let's try new without tag. Yeah, see, there's only like 25 of them that sold. They don't really sell for anything. See, they're not really worth listing. 
I mean, maybe if I put batteries in them and listed both of these together, I would probably get about $20. I would get 20 bucks for both of them. So, I mean, it could possibly be worth it. It just depends, I guess. This is water resistant. This is a sports watch. Can't see if it's Casio. It just says water resist. I don't see any. I see some scrap. WR165. All right, so this is an Armatron. Okay, so this is an older Armatron. I, all I have to do is put batteries in this. These are a pain in the butt to take apart because you have to move. You got to move the little lips right there. That's part of the, not lip, but that I just call it that because it's kind of like a little, you know what I mean? Like a little, um, once you take the four screws out, that'll pop out. You have to be careful because there's a rubber casing in there. That's what makes the watch waterproof. But this is like a $20 watch, maybe 25 It depends. Um, so here's another Armatron. This is an older one. This is cool. So these are a pain in the butt to take apart too, because you have to watch these. You have to make sure that they don't fall out or they're not, you know, you have to put the piece back in, right? This is another, um, digital. It's a digital Armatron. So this is a few bucks here. Some of these sell for really good money. You have to look them up to make sure, you know, this one looks like a junk watch. See, even though it's got the screws and chronograph, water resistant, 50, chronograph, um, it's got the lap, the mode. Yeah, I don't see the, I don't see a brand anywhere. It's just another, I don't see the brand on this one, so this one may just be a junk one. But here's a nice one too, this, oh wow. I remember these. Sonic Quartz Melody. Look at the back on that. Look at the back on that thing. It's like chunky. This has got some nice weight to it. This is a cool watch. I remember these. Um, I think I had one back in the 80s or 90s. These are the ones that, that, make, that have like little melodies in them. Um, it's called a Sonic Quartz melody alarm all right s-o-n-n-e-t let's look it up i know it's got a little it's got some value s-o sonnet 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 watch there's a bunch of them and a lot there's one sonnet quartz let's see quartz melody melody watch all right so here's a vintage Armatron song, Melody Watch, Alarm, Men's Quartz. There's the same one right there. That one got bid up to $20. I don't know where these people are coming up with these. There's um, there's a Casio one. So that's about a $20 watch. So I'll put a battery in that, and that'll be about 20 bucks. So there you go. Not too bad. Here's another one. Oh, here's a Sanyo. Uh-oh. This one's nice. Check this one out. I hope I can get some of these to work. This is a Sanyo chronograph. This one we might have a little bit more value to. That one's a little more rare. Let's take a look and see what that one's worth. We'll look a couple of them up. Not all of them. Don't want to bore you guys. S-A-N-Y Sanyo. Sanyo digital watch. Yeah, we got a little bit more value maybe in this one. That one sold for $40. That was a silver one. This one's a gold tone. There's the gold tone. Vintage Sanyo Melody. This one's not the Melody. This is a chronograph. Wow, really cool. See, there's a lot of good vintage watches in this pile. These are good, too. i got to get batteries in these and get these up because um, we're going to do really well with them. Here's another. See, I think I could put all these gossip watches together and sell them in a lot. Because look, see so we have three so far. I think there's more over there. I think I have more of these same watches. See, I think if I sold these in a lot, then you could wear a different one every day. Like, different colors, you know? If you're if you're a woman, you know. Then there's another old school Timex. See? 
we're look, definitely looking at value. Those are those are absolutely selling. Um, here's a Casio band. This is also something that I could probably sell by itself. It's just the the Casio um um. It's not a stretch band. It's a regular band. Okay. This one. This one's actually pretty nice too. This one is a Joan Rivers. This this is junk. Nothing. Nothing fancy. All right. See, I always get watches like this. There's another one. There's tons of them. Oh wow. We're looking at the value right here. All different colors. I wonder what I would get if I put a battery in every single one. So that's really awesome that there's this many. Here's a, here's a pink one. So we basically have every color. There's every single color here. So look at that. There's three. That's pretty cool. So far we have... Yeah, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have seven of these already. There's seven. Then we have this watch. This is actually a Gruen, so this is actually a really good watch. But this has all the has a bunch of um, interchangeable bands. Oh, it also so this is just like the watch that I just sold. But it was um, it was a Gucci watch. So I don't know what the Gruen um sells for. This is the Gruen um. Let's see. Let's look it up. I think we have value there, too. We definitely have value in all these gossip watches. There's a lot of money there. There's got to be at least 50 bucks for all of them. Someone was probably willing to give me $50. It's going to take time for me to put batteries in all these watches. So I definitely want to get paid for my time. Probably not that long. It only takes two seconds, really, to pop a, pop a back off. Um, this is the Gruen. Um, inner... I'm trying to do interchange. Grow it. There it is. Ladies box set growing watch plus interchangeable bands. Okay, there's another one. Ah, there's not a whole lot of value there. That one sold for twenty dollars. So I mean, whatever. It is still pretty cool. I don't have the box, so but I definitely have all the bands. There's there's one, two. I don't know if this one goes to it. That one's a look kind of thin. That one doesn't look like it would go to it. I think all of the ones that are that are like an animal. There's tons of bands here. So here's another one. There's a white one. Uh, this whole bag was filled with those watches. Here's another one. There's a baby blue one. These are dope. These are really nice, actually. What is that? Is that a growing toe? No, that's a Donna Karen. That's actually a Donna Karen, New York. But, yeah, that's a Donna Karen, New York. I don't even know what that's worth. That's probably worth a couple bucks. Some of them are. I think some of the older ones are actually worth worth a decent amount. It's an Ann Klein. Not, not a whole lot of value there either. So this was actually a really good bag. Here's another digital. This one's a Pulsar. That one's a Pulsar digital watch. One of them will have some value. Let's see. P-U-L. Pulsar digital. Digital watch. I think that's what this one is too. Is this a Pulsar also? This one's Electronics. This is one of them cool. And I found one of these before and it wasn't worth a whole bunch. So, not really too sure. We got sold. All right, so there's a vintage Pulsar Electronica. This one's just a Pulsar. Doesn't really have a brand. It's got a crappy little stretch band. They all did back then. That was normal. Um, not really seeing the same one, but let's look this one up now. 